right, welcome back to Devil May Cry. Like, it takes no time to get used to this game. And like I was saying before, with the uh, tight, cramped level design works so well, only thing I doesn't is like in areas like this, it's difficult to tell when you walk into this uh, room how far away the enemies are, because they do sometimes move towards you. Well, I guess they always move towards you, but they're kind of slow, so... The design here makes it kind of difficult at times to tell how many you need to deal with, because apart from the music, you don't really have any indication of whether you've killed them all. Because I don't think they always spawn in the same pattern in this room. Oh, fuck off. And like even the, the tight level design makes it easy to uh, jump cancel in here. Although I don't think you have a taunt in this game, do you? Maybe. I don't remember. Let's see. Well, if you do, I don't remember how you use it. <laughs> Guess I'll have to look that up. I think there might be. But, uh, it's time for an old friend. One that I think we were all very much hoping would come back in Devil May Cry 5. That could very well happen, but who knows. It's doubtful, but it's possible. I mean, I mean, if not for the fact that we've already seen him survive impalement once. Don't get me wrong, this is still fucking amazing, but kind of lessens the impact when you're like, wait a minute, he's already survived this once before. <laughs> like, we've already seen it in the opening of the game. But the way it's done here, just to see your character do this in the second fucking, fucking level is just like, holy shit. I want to know though, where the fuck does this man get his clothes? Because that's some quality right there. Love that outfit too in this game. The Midnight Lightning Boy. I wonder, is he still pissed off about that? <laughs> uh, that's the whole reason he was after him in Beautiful Joe was because Dante didn't take him with him to Devil May Cry 2 when he went to, uh, I can't remember the name of the island, but, and that he kicked him. <clears throat> Uh, I wonder, does he still hold that grudge? Because that was obviously like Kamiya saying, what the hell, why didn't you take, like that was his thing about not being allowed to work on Devil May Cry 2. It's like, Alistair was basically saying, why didn't you take me with you when you went there? <laughs> 
thought also it would have been sweet to see Alistair show up in that game. Or any future game. Like, give it to Trish already. Come on. Yes. Uh, I guess I gotta go over here. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I don't even have Stinger, do I? No, because you can't get Stinger with Force Edge. I don't know, that that always seemed kind of weird to me, though, that you can't... Like, I get because you can't upgrade anything with Force Edge. It just seems weird that Stinger, of all things, can't be used with it. When Virgil has no problem using Stinger with it. Also, on that note, it kind of bugs me that uh, Dante's model in Devil May Cry 4 with the Sparta outfit doesn't have Force Edge. Like in uh, Devil May Cry 3, he has Force Edge when he's in that outfit. I'm pretty sure in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, he also has Force Edge in that outfit. But in Devil May Cry 4, he just has Rebellion. Now, I don't remember was a... Uh, I don't remember if the Sparta outfit was in the original release or not. I don't think it, I don't think it was though. I think it was just the uh, super costume. Because if that's the case that the uh, Sparta outfit was only put in in special edition, then why didn't they give it to Force Edge? Because Force Edge's model is in the game. Virgil has it. So why didn't they just reskin Dante's Rebellion to it? I don't know. It's weird. Because they had no problem doing it in 3 in Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh yeah, I gotta go through the door. The music though, it's like... Instantly takes you back. Oh, fuck off. Dick. Oh, shit. Should have dodged, man. Eh? Oh yeah, I've got Devil Trigger now, don't I? What the hell happened there? Shit! And there is death number one. I'm sure there will be many more, especially when I have to go against Phantom. Well, it respawns me into a fight. That's great. Not even complaining. That's awesome. It, it fits the tone of this game. But you can't switch uh, guns manually. I mean, without going into the menu, can you? Pretty sure you can switch between Alistair and Ifrit, but... I always find it found it funny that Dante's always got Ebony and Ivory in the uh, promotional stuff, but... I mean, come on, what do you think... What do you think players use more? The shotgun or Ebony and Ivory? Don't get me wrong, I love using Ebony and Ivory, but the shotgun, man, that is just useful and so much fun. Stinger it is. Hmm, another fragment. Nice. <coughs> I do like that they uh, have that stuff including a little bit of flavor there, the uh, little text. But I find that it's not done as well as like Onimusha did it. But Onimusha is much more Resident Evil in its style. Which is something I really love about those games, you know? It, 
There's so much of Resident Evil in them compared to Devil May Cry. Even this first Devil May Cry. But, on the other hand, Onimusha is still very much its own thing. I'm very excited for this Warlords remaster. And I, much as I hate the idea of them uh, selling them separately, yeah, I'll, I'd buy the Onimusha games again. Hell yes. Especially if that would get us an Onimusha 5, because, you know, for one thing, I'd buy the Onimusha games just for themselves, same as I bought the X games in this. But if it also means increasing the chances of getting the series back, hell yes. Wait, did I just get my rank up for spamming the same move, or was that because I was juggling it? Fuck off. There we go. Wow, charging up takes a while in this game. Or is that just for the shotgun? I mean, it seems like it takes so long that it... I can't see it being that effective in combat, unless I'm just not doing it right. Because you just have to interrupt the flow of combat to charge that up. Because I don't think you can remap the uh, button layout in this game, can you? <clears throat> Which, you know, that's understandable considering the age of this game. And overall, it, it works well. Because you're not trying to do, like, the intricate combos of 3 and 4, so you got... It's bearable having... Well, I, I've only ever remapped the uh, fire button for Nero anyway. Since he doesn't have to switch weapons, I just put it on where, uh... Like, you know, where... Oh, there's the taunt! Yeah, I put it on that button. R2. Because that way I can just keep charging up his uh, charge shot 2 while, uh, I mean charge shot 3 while I'm fighting. But I mean you can't even really do that here because you have to be aiming to charge up. What? Why did it charge up so much faster there? Weird. Guess I was doing something wrong before. Although it doesn't be a charge shot drain your devil trigger. Yes, enemy. Hmm. Didn't drain that much. Yeah, because I still had enough to activate it. And waste a rune. Oh yeah, that's not how you sting her. There is kind of a noticeable bit of... Like when you go to a uh, startup stinger, it's not as instantaneous as it would be. He does go through that. Like, uh, oh no, there we go. I was just not doing it right, apparently. There we go. And I guess the taunt would keep uh, your combos going a bit longer, too, eh? Like, seriously, though, why the fuck is there no taunt in DMC? For what possible reason did they not put a taunt in there? You've got two dodge buttons, but you couldn't put a taunt on one of them. Like, if anything, that character really was fit for having taunts. But, nope. Then again, there's no taunts in Devil May Cry 2, is there? But, Devil May Cry 2 is Devil May Cry 2, so... Whereas DMC is, whether you like it or hate it, it whether you love it or hate it, actually, is a complete game. Whereas DMC, Devil May Cry 2 was rushed very, very much, and I'll get to that when I get to playing it. But Devil May Cry 2 has a lot of little neat hidden techniques you can do with a shotgun. 
Yeah, you have any, yeah, I have any in Ivory too, but like you can do a lot of like uh, little dodges and uh, special firing poses with the shotgun. Oh. So excited to see these guys come back. Because, you know, the Mephisto and Faust kind of resemble them. So it'll be interesting to fight these guys with a character that can actually, like, maneuver in the modern style. Well, actually, that leads me to think they're bringing back... They've already brought back so many Devil May Cry enemies in 4, and they're bringing back more in 5. Are they gearing up for a remake of Devil May Cry, possibly? Seeing how well the different enemy types work in a new engine, seeing how well it all plays out now, I'd be down for that. <laughs> Hate how you actually gotta be like aiming to fire in this game. Time to, um... Oh, wait, no, this is the end of the level. Never mind. D. Damn. Really? Oh, yeah, I died, didn't I? Well, that was part two, and uh, thanks for watching me get my ass kicked. But, yeah, I'm really loving this game already. So, uh, hope you join me for part three. See ya, and have a great day.